Yo what's up guys, this is Creality K1, a brand new 3D printer from Creality. The main highlight feature of this printer is its impressive printing speed of 600 mm per second. I'm so excited to test this thing out so let's get started. It was arrived in a study wooden box and upon opening it I found this box inside. As we open this up we have what looks like a top cover with some paperwork. Next we have the printer itself. It was a bit difficult to lift it out so I simply cut the tape from the bottom, set everything in place and remove the cardboard box. It was much easier this way. Taking a closer look at the Creality K1, we can see it comes pre-assembled with a closed enclosure, which is pretty nice. The components are well secured with packaging foam and there is a box inside the printer, likely containing accessories, which we'll explore later. Creality used ample amount of packaging tape and the satisfaction of removing it was notable. Okay, now let's open the accessory box. First of all, I don't know what this is, maybe it's for extruder or nozzle cleaning. Then we have this display to be installed on the printer, a filament holder, another box that will open up later and a roll of 200 gram hyper PLA filament. Now it's time to open this one. Ok so here we have a cutter which usually comes with all the Creality printers, a scrapper, a glue stick, 16 gigs USB drive and some tools. I almost forget about the stickers and the user manual. So now let's install this LCD screen. It's pretty easy, just connect this flat cable here, insert into the grooves and slide it down. The filament holder is also easy to mount, just put in its place and rotate it on the right side. Now by adding the top cover, the printer is ready to use. Creality K1 has a sturdy metal frame. The top and side panels are made of plastic except for the front glass door. It has a 4.3 inches color touchscreen display and the touch is very responsive. The magnetic and removable build plate is flexible offering a decent build volume of 220x220x250 mm. The X and Y axis motors are gigantic, I'm pretty sure it's for fast acceleration. It comes with a drag drive extruder and has a convenient filament lock unlock button for easy filament loading or unloading. That's pretty much for the overview, let's move on to the testing by printing some models and checking the print quality. I'll start with the 600mm test file promising a completion time of only 7 minutes. Alright guys, this is not fast forward, it's the actual printing speed and it shakes quite a bit when it runs at full speed. My table has a problem with its lag so that's why it looks like it's shaking a lot. Alright so here we have the first print. It looks impressive with minimal layer visibility. I can barely see the layers. For the better detail visibility, I printed another one in grey color and it turned out surprisingly well. The layers are stacked on each other pretty accurately and it's not even visible. Pretty impressive. For the next print, we have the Benchy. I'm printing it at 0.2mm layer height with red PLA. Ok so it took about 17 to 18 minutes and it looks so neat to be honest. The layers are pretty fine and clean, we can see very little bit of ringing here. Overall it's turned out pretty well. And remember it took less than 20 minutes to complete. Up next we have this test cube. I printed this at 0.2mm layer height at full speed 600mm per second. Ok so here we have it. It looks decent. The bottom layer is fine, 
The Y and X axis also looks pretty nice. We can see minor undextrusion on the top, overall it's pretty decent print. As it's closed in closer so we can play with variety of filaments. For the next model I'm going to use blue ABS filament instead of PLA. So I printed this flexible dyno at 0.2mm layer height 400mm speed. And we can see it's turned out pretty well. Layers are clean and stacked accurately. The bottom part looks fine, however the top part is not as smooth as it should be. I'm pretty sure it can be fixed by making some tweaks in the slicer. I have used the Creality slicer for all these models but I advise you to use Cura or Prusa slicer to achieve better results. For the final print we have this mechanical fidget spinner like thingy. I'm printing it at 0.2mm layer height with sparkle green PLA. It looks pretty cool and it starts spinning after removing it from the bill plit. I thought I would need to give it a hard spin at first because usually this type of models don't work perfectly right after printing. Pretty impressive right? So what I appreciate about this printer is its closed enclosure allowing for the use for various filaments and the ability to print at high speed saving valuable time. Additional features include automatic bed leveling, support for offline printing via USB drive and cloud printing capability as well. This printer is priced at $599, it's reasonable and with a $100 discount you can acquire it for only $499. In conclusion, I found Creality K1 is a really good printer, especially for the beginners. It offers a user-friendly experience straight out of the box. I have provided the links in the description box so make sure to check it out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.